So today is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna try to make a build vlog type of video. So if you like this concept, please comment below and I'll make more. Uh, but basically, I bought this blue foam, which I'm thinking of drawing out the bottom plate of an RC airboat. And what's going to be special about this one is that I'm going to use the electronic speed controller as well as the receiver from this RC car. And I'm going to use this controller, which now lets me make the airboat go in reverse, uh, which is super important because you do tend to get stuck on places where you just have to go swimming to retrieve it. So I think it's going to be really useful. Uh, I'm also going to I pull out the NTM motor from the Sky Surfer, and um, I might even use uh, four cell batteries, so it's gonna be super powerful. Uh, I'm gonna cut it out with the do it yourself hot wire cutter. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you can click right up here. And I guess that's pretty much it, so uh, I'll just start building. Alright, so I've pulled out all the electronics from the RC car and the RC airplane. Uh, so basically what I have here is the motor, the EEC, uh, which I've now soldered uh, longer wires and the 3.5-bolt uh, connectors. Uh, I also have a uh, servo, I believe it's a 17 gram, and here is the receiver. So I'm about to do the first test to see if even if this concept worked, because I haven't tried it out. So hopefully the motor will be able to both go forward and backwards. And hopefully the ESC is compatible with this motor, which I do not know yet. So here we go. So I just connected the power and the transmitter is on. All I have to do is flip the switch and hopefully everything will work. All right, so let's try the servo. As you can see, that works just fine. So here is the motor. And now in reversed. Yeah, that works. That actually works. All right, so the electronics seems to work just fine. All I have to do now is cut out the body of the airboat, uh, attach all the electronics, and we should have a working airboat pretty soon. This didn't really work, even though I have this guide, the sheet of foam just does not go in a straight line, causing uh, the edge of the foam to be all, you know, bent. It's not, it's not a clean cut. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, remove this uh, wooden guide and uh, just do it by hand and then probably sand down the edges. The 
body turned out pretty good actually. The only thing is the edges are really rough so what I'm gonna do is uh, sand all of those down. And let me show you the dimensions I used. It's um, 100 centimeters long and 43 I believe, yeah 43 centimeters wide. Um, obviously you can do any dimensions you wish. Um, this is just, it was a wild guess. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is um, sand all of those down and I'm also gonna lift the front part upwards so the airboat will um, uh, have it easier to go over obstacles and things like that. So that will be the next step. Here is the progress of the airboat so far and uh, basically I decided to not go with too aggressive of an angle because I know that can increase the risk of the airboat flipping over. Um, but basically what I'm gonna do now is build the rudder. No, actually I'm gonna build the motor mount first and uh, then I'm gonna build the rudder and install all the electronics. Uh, so let's continue.
waterproof. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So let's continue this build. There we go, the airboat is now fully built and it's all ready for its maiden drive, uh, which should be in the video coming up this Thursday or Sunday. Uh, but before then, I have to figure out how to place these batteries. Uh, well, where to place these batteries, because I'm gonna connect them all in parallel to create a 5.6 amp hour uh, battery. So that's gonna give me a lot of runtime. Uh, it's definitely going to be able to supply all the power needed. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today's build. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, do so. I'll see you next time.